So if you're listening to us, you know the following, that we love helping account-based sellers, right? So people that are traditionally account executives, account managers, account directors, etc. <clears throat> now, Jamie and I have been experimenting with an idea. Hey friends, it's Amar and Jamie at the Get More at Bats podcast. Hope you're all doing great. We have an amazing idea to share with you today and we'll just jump right in. Okay, so if you're listening to us, you know the following, that we love helping account-based sellers, right? So people that are traditionally account executives, account managers, account directors, etc. <clears throat> now, Jamie and I have been experimenting with an idea that it's not fully baked out yet, but we are building it for sure, okay? And the idea is this, it's a prospecting club. So what's a prospecting club? It's a, it's a club where people join to prospect. Well, why is that important? So let me get the foundation out of the way and then I'll kick it over to Jamie so we can start, dive, uh, we can start diving in deeper. So first and foremost, here's what we've observed by being in sales ourselves, both of us, for 20 plus years. We've observed that companies are amazing at having sales processes, but most sales processes, sometimes called or sometimes confused with sales methodologies, but the sales process traditionally starts at meeting number one. So if an account exec goes into a discovery meeting or even a qualifying meeting, whatever your meeting number one is, all the way to close. Jamie and I are huge fans of the sales process because it keeps people all marching to the same drumbeat. And as a sales leader, they love it because you can control where people are and how they need help. So it's a, it's there's lots of other advantages, but Let's just say it's a highly disciplined and a regimented approach for sales. Well, guess what? The exact opposite is true for prospecting. So Jamie and I, for about four and a half years or so, almost five years now, um, we've been running a prospecting methodology called spear selling. And spear selling is all about helping the account-based seller go from cold to opening the door or generating a conversation in the account. We've been measuring it and we are starting to see that it traditionally is taking people in our network about nine weeks to open a door in an account. That's an average. Sometimes it's a little bit more, sometimes it's a little bit less, but nine weeks seems to be that golden number. So here's where we're going with this. For the last couple of months, Jamie and I have been inviting some of our best friends into a private exclusive community where we're all basically supporting each other with spear selling. It is effectively the world's first community-led prospecting club. Okay, so that's the overall picture of it. I'm going to pass it to Jamie so he can share more insights as well. So I just got back from three different SKOs. Landed last night from uh, London, England, and the, I, this kind of this will be a roundabout story that'll all make sense. The workshop that we run at Sales Kickoffs is a team-based workshop. It's meant for a team, a cohort of sellers, to come together. They select an account, they plan uh, an account strategy, and then they defend it by the team captains coming to the front of the stage and presenting their key account plan while the audience, the venture capitalist, the private equity firm uh, executives, that's what the audience pretends to be, are your fellow sellers who are lobbying in tough questions and, and debating the plan, all to pressure check the plan to make it better. And I always do a survey or ask everybody at the end, what was the biggest takeaway from today? And it's about a half day session and it's broken up into a third. A third is me teaching new tips, tricks, and tactics. A third is where the team comes together in roundtables to develop their key account plan. And a third is the presentation and award ceremony for the best presentation. I heard it yesterday. And everyone always says it the same thing. The number one takeaway is what we accomplished in one hour had been taking us two months. This is the exact words I heard yesterday. 
We had a, uh, th there was a troubled account uh, that our customer was working on. They brought that up as part of their key account strategy. That was the account they focused in on. There were eight people per team. And in one hour, they devised a plan that the seller who owned the account had said, honestly, I, I hadn't even thought of half these ideas. And I, I can't believe what I came out with. Like I have a roadmap for the next two months of what I'm going to do. The whole is greater than the sum of its part is the definition of the word synergy. It was by Aristotle. The whole reason for a prospecting club is that it's one thing for, for Omar and I to teach you best practices uh, for prospecting from zero to one. But what if you had, and this is why people join EO or YPO, or I'm a member of something called Collective 54 for entrepreneurs of professional services firms. It's one thing to learn from the people that started it. It's another to learn from the three or 500 members or your cohort who are doing this every single day and they're going to come up with questions to ask you or they're going to show you tools or show you techniques where you go like, I had never considered this ever. So that's why the prospecting club. I'm a big believer of crowdsourcing data. Amar and I, and, and, and this is like bringing back old ideas that we've had. You know, when we scaled social selling mastery, how did we scale it? We didn't just invent training modules for the sake of inventing them. We had our customers give feedback forms and describe the tools, the techniques, the best practices, the pitfalls exactly. and challenges. We crowdsourced it. And all we did is took their ideas and modularized it and turned it into a working process. That's the whole reason for the prospecting club is what you learn from your peers is far greater than any one training program can ever offer. So yep. anyways, well said. that's the why. Well said. So, so just to keep score right now, we've discussed two reasons, two of the many reasons, but on today's podcast, we're going to discuss only three. The first was that <clears throat> nobody's helping account-based sellers with a regimented and systematic way of prospecting. That's what we aim to change. Number two, learning from peers is way more fun and way more valuable because you're going to see how things are flowing in different industries from around the world, et cetera. So it's the crowdsourcing aspect of the community. And now here is the third reason that we're starting this. It is constant quarterly accountability, right? They're like, let's face it. And if you're listening and <clears throat> you're an account-based seller, what I'm about to tell you is you're going to have a smirk on your face. But it's true when we say that there's quarters that all of us perform exceptionally well. And then there's a couple of quarters or a couple of months that really were down in the dumps a little bit. So what the club is designed to help you do is get consistency through someone looking over your shoulder and helping to keep you accountable. So you might be wondering, oh, what's, what's the accountability? So the accountability in the prospecting club is really simple. Because we follow spear selling and so does everybody else in the club, spear selling requires people to do certain sets of tasks at various points or milestones of the quarter. Everybody is held accountable to the submission of their work to us by those milestone dates. And this is happening quarter after quarter after quarter. By the way, sales leaders, this is how you generate pipeline, okay? And if you're an account executive, this is how you also generate pipeline. It's the work that some of us don't enjoy doing. By the way, I hate prospecting. Jamie and I ran a study, by the way, and what we found out was 88% of account executives do not enjoy prospecting. I'm one of the 88%. If I don't have the systematic accountability, I would not, I would just not prospect. I would go watch, you know, a soap opera if I could, or do something stupid like go play video games or like whatever. So the club is here. As we begin to wrap up this podcast, the club is here. We're still running it in beta. We're announcing it while it's in beta. We're going to launch it officially very soon. We're already recruiting our next cohort for it. And what it's going to include and how it's going to be run, we'll announce all of those details. But for now, 
we want you to walk away with the general idea of the prospecting club and the three distinct advantages, which once again, specific, and as you do that, the, uh, specific to account-based sellers. And it's, yes. uh, we're not trying to disclude your SDRs and BDRs, but I think that the world has not focused enough on the reality that you have a very talented, um, very knowledge rich and very expensive, <laughs> typically, account based, which are usually AEs, AMs, CSMs, who this world is requiring them to reinvigorate the prospecting muscle. That's why. That's the why. That's that's exactly it. Yeah. It's not um I mean, not to sound like we're excluding, but we we essentially are excluding, quite frankly. The BDRs and the SDRs and all the other uh, non-account based sales functions because spear selling doesn't quite fit into their world. They're very transactional and account based seller is meant to be very consultative in the way they tackle an account, enter an account and manage the account. So friends, three core reasons once again. Number one, accountability. Number two, crowdsourcing and the community aspect. <clears throat> and number three, we just need the muscle and the discipline and a system that's focused entirely for prospecting. The last thing I'll say is this, and I want you to think about this as well. We're in a really funky economy right now. We don't know where the economy is going to go. None of us do. But what we do know is that the art of prospecting will always be a valuable skill set for you as an account-based seller or as a leader of an account-based seller. If you have any questions on how this club works, maybe you're curious, maybe you want to see what this is about, feel free to reach out to Jamie and I. Connect with us on LinkedIn. Send us a DM there, and we're more than happy to be a resource. Until then, <clears throat> it's Jamie and Amar signing out from the Get More at Bats podcast. Like, subscribe, follow, connect, all that good stuff. Thanks so much. We'll see you all soon. Cheers.